Hi everyone, my name is Roberticus, and I'm here to rock your world for this 2v2 commentary battle. And I'll be using the Seleucid Empire. And this is for Rome Total War, by the way, just in case you don't know. So I'll be facing uh, Stormy from the Hoss Clan. He's using Pontus. I'm going to fly along in our little uh, helicopter camera. And my ally is Sable, and he's using the Armenians. So we're both cataphract nations. He's got lots of gold gold cataphracts there. And he's facing Axe, who is also from the Hoss Clan. And these guys are both very good players. So one thing that I hope to show you in this battle is uh, somehow a way to face skirmish armies. So I've pulled off one little trick so far. I got a shot off, some shots off with my archers, but unfortunately didn't do, any, do anything. His chariot archers were focused on my javkev, so I I withdrew them. So he got sucked into into my archer range, so I could get off a few shots. And I killed two chariots when he was in Cantabrian Circle, so that doesn't make much sense. And I almost managed to catch these chariot archers, but I was just too slow. When you saw him standing still, that was me changing him into getting them out of skirmish mode. Getting him into tight formation. Uh, almost got him. But he has two chariot archers and they're supporting one another, so they're doing a pretty good job. I'm no master at, at beating skirmish armies. I'm trying to get used to it, and I have no qualms for fighting skirmish armies. A lot of people hate them. 10 15k. Pretty much because skirmish armies are the best armies you can make, they're the best builds. But I just see it as another challenge, and it's pretty fun. And once you get some, some tricks up your sleeve, uh, it's it's not that hard to do it actually. Well, it is hard, but it's not as hard as it's what it is when you first start out. So, one thing that I've picked up is skirmishing is all about if you want to beat them, it's all about the ebb and flow of pushing their their archers back and then bringing them back within your archer range. And right there, you see Sable running off by himself. He's expecting me to bring my, my cataphracts with him. But there are lots of chariots over there and side the chariots to support them. So sorry Sable. Anyway, so the ebb and flow. So you gotta think of it as waves. <laughs> and basically you gotta be bringing them back within your archer range and firing at them when they aren't in Cantabrian Circle. Because that's when they're vulnerable. And also have your archers in flaming mode because that makes them more economical with their with their arrows. And it makes no difference really because uh, flaming arrows they do less damage. But horse archers and chariot archers don't have any defense anyway, so that's no problem. And try not to attack chariot archers directly. Always try and surround them like this. So I routed one chariot archer unit. So that's pretty good, I was pretty happy with that. But at the time I, I got too greedy and decided to chase down these guys. My jab cav. But side chariots came from behind. So it's a bit of a contradictory move because I didn't support Sable before, but uh. anyway. So there goes. Oh, Javkav, that's a really good solution for fighting skirmish armies as well. So you can put them in loose and they can chuck javelins at the chariot archers or horse archers as they run away. So they're pretty handy. And I just lost them. So now the only way for us to win now is, well, on my, on my part, and that's the infantry fight, because I have superior infantry against Stormy. So I'm going to move up, not only because of that, but Sable's also going to start trying to win the archer fight against both armies, and he's going to try and win the cavalry fight against Axe, so this should be interesting. Here you see he gets one cataphract unit, and he gets surrounded by Praetorian Cav, that's going to route. So Axe has got the upper hand now, he got the charge on one of his units, so they're, they're running away. 
And that's five of his Touring Cav against four of Sable's Cataphracts. And he's just got them into into the mace attack now. The Axe is a very good player. And he's going to support them with Javkev and Triario. And his Praetorian Cav will hold out until those guys come. So you wouldn't see the destruction of Cataphracts. And there they go. And I just managed to catch some of Stormy's units over here as well. And a big blunder that I made in this battle was that I left my Scythe Chariots out the back. Out of sight, out of mind for me. So I'm going to push up the Assault. And here I make my next big blunder. And that's getting drawn into taking out his archers. Look like very juicy targets, but really... I'm wasting about 30,000 denarii on 400. So I'm not being very economical with my units. So, instead of running them behind the, the safety of my spears, they're exposed to scythe chariots, and I'm stricken dumb in fear there. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to try and withdraw them to my pikes, but I'm a bit slow in putting them in, in tight formation and phalanx mode. So they're just going to stream through and rout off my army. And Sable was never going to win the infantry fight without his cataphracts, so... There goes my general. So there you go. In case you don't know, it's pretty obvious, I lose. But I don't mind losing against very good players. Especially Axe. It's a pretty mean feat if you can beat him. Or you have to be really lucky. So, and another reason I'm posting this battle is there was this new clan side that was made about a week ago. And usually, if you're part of a clan, then there's usually a good forum where you can all meet and discuss things. But this site was made for all clans, and there was this one discussion thread talking about how the majority of YouTubers uh, don't do things for educational purposes. And among other things, but. They say that they just post victories, and if they just post victories, then how can they be educational? The point being, if you lose more game, if you lose a game, then you learn more from it. So, things I learnt from this game were, well, I think Sable learnt the most because he lost it for us, <laughs> and that's to coordinate with your ally. But uh, the things that I learnt, I'm not going to bag him out because this is my video. Uh, don't get drawn into to juicy targets in cataphracts, especially if your ally is in trouble. You've always got to uh, face the equal uh, equal battles with your units. So my cataphracts were just overkill for his archers. So I should have used them better, and I should have remem remembered about my scythe chariots. And I will now. Because that I, we could have won that game if I kept my side chariots, it would have been very handy. But anyway, hope you guys learned something from that battle on how to beat skirmish armies, and it's a pleasure to play against Hoss, and I'll see you guys later.